Hello, Internet. This will hopefully be brief. I want to talk a little about some stuff I found out about Clash this weekend. I promised you all video blogs, vlogs, whatever you want to call them, and I wanted to try this out. I'm not using my fancy cam or anything like that, so you get raw, uncut Brie. That sounds kind of gross. Ew. One of the biggest things I discovered at Origins was that players had trouble focusing on each other and that we resolved the conflicts. Resolving the conflicts. What? That is not supposed to happen. I talked to John a bit, and I noticed that what I think is happening is I'm really shit at explaining things. Like, really shit. Because here's the thing. Clash is a game about conflict, but it's not necessarily about the conflict. I want players to focus on themselves and each other. Avoidance is there for a reason. If you want to fuck off and do your own thing, and let it screw up life for everyone, go you, dude. Good for you. The conflict is important, but only in the way that it's keeping you from your goals and keeping you from what you want, even if it's not really what is keeping you from what you want. That's a little confusing. Plus, the world hates compromise. After all, it punishes everyone when you compromise, just like it punishes you for avoiding conflict. The world doesn't want peace. So what I've discovered is that I need to sit down, take some time explaining the way the game works to people when we sit down to play, and write up a script to prep players when they start play. It's not about the big C conflict all the time, but it's always about the little C conflicts, including internal conflict. What is something you've discovered in a playtest that changed how you want to present your game? Let me know.